The angle concentrator with integrated oxidizer is often the most cost-effective technology for processing high volume, low concentration emission streams from manufacturing processes. The addition of a concentrator can reduce the size of a combustion device by 90 to 95 percent of the original footprint, providing substantial reduction in the system cost and energy consumption. While the capital cost of a concentrator is competitive with other technologies, the true savings is realized in reduced operating costs. When coupled with a concentrator, an oxidizer will operate with very little supplemental energy. At high concentrations, it even has sufficient free energy to provide desorption heat for the concentrator without consuming any auxiliary fuel. Concentrators and the corresponding oxidizer have the unique ability to treat industrial emission sources with high volume, low concentration characteristics. The polluted airstream first passes through a filter box to protect the concentrator wheel from any particulate that may come from the process. It then passes through a rotor concentrator wheel where volatile organic compounds are separated from the air through absorption onto the zeolite. The majority, approximately 90 to 95 percent of the total air volume, of this clean air is then exhausted straight to atmosphere. A small portion of the airstream coming from the combustion device, approximately 5 to 10 percent of the total air volume, is heated to an elevated temperature to be used as desorption, stripping the contaminants from the wheel. In some cases, dual rotors are applied in succession for increased removal efficiency, upwards of 99.7 percent system efficiency. The concentrator wheel rotates continuously at a very slow rate, transporting absorbed pollutants into a desorption section. In this section, the VOCs or desorbed were released from the absorptive media with the low volume heated airstream. This smaller volume emission laden airstream is then routed to an oxidizer where pollutants are destroyed at exit through the exhaust air.